Hey guys, Gary is smiling. I know I just uploaded a video called EV Stats for Nerds, and I was sitting here watching the video upload and it hit me. We can use these stats to quantify what Mitsubishi owes me in terms of distance that I'm losing due to my battery amperage loss. And quite simply, we can do this because I realized at a certain point here in my calculations, and I'm the only guy probably in Canada, I would think, writing this stuff down every single day. If there's another nut bar out there doing the same thing, guys, I don't know of him. So we're going to use these stats. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take every trip as of February 21st was when I noticed that my stats didn't add up. If I put in my co column, kilowatt hours used eight, my numbers for my dash and my kilowatt hours per hundred did not line up. They only lined up and worked if I lowered my kilowatt hours down to seven. And then I realized my battery is only holding seven kilowatt hours. That was on February 21st. If we take every trip from that point on that we drained the battery completely and we are showing seven kilowatt hours used, we would have gotten an extra kilowatt hour each one of those trips. So if we total that number of trips, we can see how many kilowatt hours we have missed over four months. February to May. Then we can take those kilowatt hours and figure out how far do we go on X amount of energy to equal one kilometer. Then we can figure out our total kilometers that we've missed out on and had to pay gas for instead of using electricity. So let's do that right now. Let's total up these trips. So let's do that right now. Let's total up these trips. February we had one, two, three, four, five, six trips. March, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 after April, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 trips total from February 21st to May. That's not even four months. So we can figure out exactly how much that is as well because I'm not giving them a break on anything here. 29 kilowatt hours. And now we're gonna do some calculations. To keep this fair, we don't wanna use our uh, kilowatt hours for May. If we look on our screen here, it shows 18.34 was May's average. We're not gonna use that. I've gone ahead and averaged February, March, April, and May's kilowatt usage per 100 kilometers. And that's right here, 22.1 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So if we take our calculator and we divide 100 kilometers by 100 to get one kilometer, we have to do the same thing to our kilowatt hours. So we'll take 22.1 divided by 100. 0 0.221 kilowatt hours is how far or how much energy it takes us to go one kilometer. We're gonna write that over here on the side. Here's our trip number 29. Okay, I actually did this twice because I, I thought I screwed up there. You guys know me in math, right? Okay, so we take our 29 kilometers and we divide it by 0 0.221. That's how many units that we can get in there equals one kilometer. Equals 131.2 kilometers we've missed out on because of our battery dropping. Now. We could go ahead and extrapolate that over the course of the year, but we can't because that would be giving Mitsubishi a break because every one to two weeks, we're dropping 0 0.1 kilowatt hours. So we can't even do that calculation because the total number is gonna be worse than what we're showing. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get interesting. We're gonna use our liters per 100 kilometer average to figure out exactly how much I spent on fuel. We know that um, 100 kilometers is going to cost us 6.36 liters. The numbers are right here on the screen. We also need to figure out, we want another 30 whatever kilometers, 31. So we're just going to take a third of that. So 6.36 divided by 3 equals plus 6.36. Six equals 8.48 liters is how much we've missed out on. We need to times that by 1.35, which is 
$11.44. That's what you owe me, Mitsubishi, in terms of money over this period. Okay, I know I kind of laughed there, $11.45. But really, this is no joking matter. We're gonna times that by, f by four, roughly. So, you know, we're gonna say 50 bucks a year is what this is costing me to have this battery at this level and it's continuing to drop. That's just in fuel costs. What are we burning in greenhouse gases? I could do a calculation. I don't think I'm going to do that calculation. Sure, let's do the calculation. We'll get the numbers per uh, thousand kilometers divided by one tenth, and that number is right here. So Mitsubishi, you're hurting the planet as well. And that number is right here in uh, CO2 emission number for what we put out extra that we wouldn't have had to if we used electricity. So there it is guys, I'm probably the only nerd here to, to quantify what this is costing me. It's not a huge number, but that's what it is. You times that by, you know, 20,000 people driving these vehicles, that's how much fuel extra we're using right now per quarter because of this battery issue, right? And uh, I don't know how many, how many EVs worldwide Somebody want to do the numbers for that? There you guys have the numbers that we can quantify. This is my case, but it's affecting all of us. And you guys could do the same thing if you're silly enough to write down all of your stats every day uh, like I'm doing. And I'm only going to do this for one year, guys, because it is a crap ton of work. And Kyle, you better believe I'm coming for my 12 bucks.